it seems like the NHL. I mean, just you deal with things before they become a problem in a weird way. Are you like you have enough issues that every sport does with ownership or whatever, but and, and markets. But do you have an active plan to ensure that the players conduct themselves in a way the owners do, a league does? Well, we we I don't think anybody who's in the league, either as an owner, an executive, or a player, has any illusions as to what's expected of them. Um, our code of conduct is we expect you to do the right things, and if we don't we hold you accountable, but more important than that is I believe you need to be proactive. So, for example, uh, on issues of substance abuse, uh, we have been counseling and educating players for over 20 years. On issues of domestic violence, uh, our security department and our behavioral health counselors, as well as the rookie orientation program, uh, have been doing that with the players for more than a decade. Uh, on the issue of concussions, to pick another topic, we were the first sports league to begin studying and putting together a working group with the players and the, the medical community in 1997. So, you know, I think we have an obligation as a sport to try to do the right things. Sports can be a great uh, vehicle for so positive social change, whether or not it's inclusiveness or diversity or AIDS or you name it. And so I've always believed that we need to be in front of these things, and sometimes you need to punish, but more importantly, it's better to educate and counsel.